So retaining walls definitely are in some properties. So when should a seller or a buyer call an engineer to evaluate that retaining wall? Immediately. And when I say that, new homes. Um, okay. It, and why is that? Yep. In my experience, foundation problems associated with retaining walls usually happen in the first five years. And that's usually because when they build the retaining wall and they backfill the soils, they don't compact the soils very well. And then they build this heavy house on those uncompacted backfill soils and they compress over time the weight of the house will settle. And that usually happens in the first five years. Okay, so what if the pool is the closest thing to the retaining wall? Still the same thing? Still kind of the same thing. The rule of thumb on retaining walls is the imaginary 45 degree line. So if, if you see your house or your pool and you take an imaginary 45 degree line from the, the foundation or the pool and you take that 45 degree line and you side it down, if that line intersects any part of that wall, then that wall is structural. Okay. Okay. The vast majority of retaining walls around here are landscaping walls, which means that the 45 degree line, the retaining wall is out here, is outside of that line. The house is perfectly happy sitting on a 45 degree cone of soil. But if anything disturbs that cone, then the whole cone falls apart. Right, yeah, that makes sense. That's right. So as long as that wall is outside of that zone, which the vast majority around here, the only real retaining walls in our area, there's some in Cedar Hill, there's some in Kessler Park, maybe a few in Highland Village. Okay. But, but those are really the only places that we get real walls. So there's a handful of neighborhoods that kind of have a stigma that there has been a lot of mm. movement. So is it a good idea to suggest to any buyer looking in those neighborhoods to get an engineer to come mm. out and do their evaluation? Or should they get their home inspection and decide yeah. whether the home inspector has suggested? Either way. Home inspectors are generally pretty good. They're, they're very conservative. So a home inspector, if he sees any little crack, he's going to mark it up. So they are very conservative, and rightly so. You know, they're, they're required to have insurance, and they're not going to take any risk on that. Right. <laughs> right. They're going to want the home buyer That's to it. know of anything that they saw that could be yep. a possible A home inspector is never going to look at a brick crack and call it good, right? If it's a brick crack, it's going in the report and it's going to be have it evaluated every time. Which leads to? Which leads to bringing the engineer out. Exactly. And it's because some of those neighborhoods, and agents know which neighborhoods those are, and, and just because they do have stigma, they have historical, people know that they're known for movement. You got to get those checked because remember, you got to sell it. Definitely. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.